what can I say about the Ebola series? Well, <laughs> they're survival horror games, old school survival horror games with that little Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 8 edge. And that is very loose. These games have their very own unique charm. Once again, Indie Game Studio gives us a modern classic. Hold on, I don't mean a good classic, but a hilarious yet frustrating one. Let's start with the positive, shall we? Those of you looking for an old school survival horror vibe will find it here. Even with the modern controls, thanks to how clunky and janky they are, it'll feel like you're using tank controls anyway. There are multiple different decisions to make, similar to Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, which gives you branching story paths leading to three different endings. So does this make Ebola 3 more faithful than RE3 Remake? Touching on the story, including how bizarre it is, the plot is outrageously implausible, with characters and their voice acting being hilariously terrible. A staple for this developer. But I must give credit where it's due. Each story path has its own different scenarios that play out. Combat is existent. That's the most praise I can give it. However, you do have a decent pool of weapons to try out. Some marginally stronger than others. Now let's dirty the water with the negatives. There are many issues to dive into. Firstly, you can die even in cutscenes as enemies do not pause when you do. Some puzzles are either mistranslated, poorly described or just going to result in pure guesswork to solve them. Don't ask how I managed to complete the game without a guide or videos because I don't know. You get a little objective in the map screen but no map markers for important items or events. This will inevitably lead you to asking the age old question, where do I go? Many times per playthrough. You never know which key item is necessary at a given time either, with some notes taking up inventory spaces while others don't. Oh, and sometimes interactable prompts won't appear unless you are in the perfect pixel space for it to decide to show itself. Combat is super annoying depending on what enemy you are facing. Buff enemies will sprint straight at you without being stunned and they will give you the old 1-2 killing you instantly. So you will die to practically every boss multiple times before finding ways to glitch out their AI. That is unless you happen to have that all important magnum. Then again, even the best weapons may not save you as they can be impressively inaccurate at times. And finally, the save feature. Sometimes when you save, it doesn't work. This isn't a bug. The developer thought it would be clever to have your save ribbons just not work. To the point it tells you, ooh, did you save? You better check to see if it did, ooh hoo hoo. Now, with all that being said, I did enjoy a lot of the game. Then again, I do have a soft spot for glitchy indie horror games. Especially the ones which give you keys that take up 7 inventory spots, even after picking up a giant keyring that could fit all of the keys you currently have all in one convenient place. I told you, I did tell you, they're very unique. <laughs> it's such a bizarre series. Like, Obviously they're made with a little bit of passion and a little bit of love for the older survival horror games. But... Wow, yeah, they are, they really are something special. They are not for the faint of heart. If you do not have patience to try and figure out these puzzles which are sometimes mistranslated or just make no sense, like, at all, like, ones does not equal one, uh, then, yeah, this game is not for you and I can't recommend it. But if you enjoy just stupid, funny, bad, comical video games, then absolutely you should give these a try. Uh, they tend to be somewhat cheap, and the fact that this one's got three different endings is uh, pretty impressive. So uh, you've got your replay value. Whether you want to replay them or not is a very different question, but you do have replay value with this game. There's so many things wrong with it, but it's pretty enjoyable. I mean, I was laughing, I know that much.